Hello everyone, how's it going? My name is Dan the Tutor. In today's video, we're going to be talking about the ratio test and how we can use the ratio test to solve series in Calc 2. So in my opinion, the ratio test is probably my favorite test. It is really powerful and it works really well for two things. Number one, when n is in the exponent. So for instance, 2 to the n, 4 to the n plus 1, something like this. And two, it works really well with factorials. So for instance, n factorial, or three to the n over n plus one factorial. Ratio test is gonna work really well for this. As a matter of fact, it's probably the only test you can use to prove factorials converge or diverge, except for maybe the direct comparison test, but that is like terrible if you're doing that. So now let's talk about how we use the ratio test. So assuming you start with some series, a sub n, and it doesn't matter where you're starting from, like you can start from zero or whatever, then the ratio test says, take the limit as n goes to infinity of the absolute value of a sub n plus one divided by a sub n, close absolute value sign. Now, what does this mean, n plus one? Well, let me show you. If, for instance, my a sub n, my series is n factorial, then a sub n plus one is n plus one factorial. And usually what we do with this, we usually rewrite it as n plus one times n factorial. And there's a good reason why we do this. Don't worry about it, just take my word for it. This is what you wanna do. But anyways, back to the ratio test. There's three conclusions we can have. Number one, your result is less than one. In other words, smaller than one. And if that's the case, then we say the series converges. Two, if you have greater than one or bigger than one, this is when it diverges. And the third case we can have is it equals one exactly. And when this happens, it's inconclusive and you have to use another test. And that could be the integral test, could be the limit comparison test, could be the nth series test, could be the root test. There's a ton of different tests it could be, but ratio test will not work. So with that being said, let's look at some example problems. So the first one is the series from n equals one to infinity of n squared times three fourths to the n. So my a sub n is n squared times three fourths to the n. By the way, in case you're curious, this is not a geometric series because this n squared here kind of ruins it for us. So now I'm gonna say a sub n plus one is quantity n plus one squared times three fourths to the n plus one and I'll talk about reducing that in a minute. But now I'm gonna take the limit as n goes to infinity of the absolute value of n plus one squared times three fourths to the n plus one divided by n squared three fourths to the n. Now watch what I do here, this is the crucial step. I'm gonna rewrite this one as three fourths to the n times three fourths to the one. This is what you have to do. So that means it will become n plus one squared times three fourths to the n times three fourths to the first divided by n squared times three fourths to the n. As we see here, the three fourths to the n cancel, which is great. And I can also pull this three fourths out in front of my limit. So it's really three fourths limit as n goes to infinity of n plus one squared over n squared. If you don't know what to do here, you could say one of two things. Number one, you could foil it out and you'll get n squared plus two n plus one over n squared. Or you can just realize that the highest degree is n squared for both. And so what that means is I really just care about the n squared over n squared part when it comes to limits at infinity and everything else is just junk that goes away. So this cancels to one don't forget the three fourths out in front because our result is three fourths, which is less than one. So we would write converges. And so that's it for the first one. Now here's the next example. Series from n equals one to infinity of one over three n minus four. So again, we're gonna do the ratio test here. A sub n is one over three n minus four a sub n plus one is one over three 
n plus one minus four, which we can reduce that now if we want to, because that's just gonna be one over three n plus three minus four. In other words, one over three n minus one. And that's what I'm gonna do now. I'm gonna take the limit as n goes to infinity of the absolute value, which usually doesn't matter unless I have some alternating series aspect to it. But one over three n minus one over one over three n minus four. This is a complex fraction. All I gotta do is multiply by the reciprocal. So that's going to become one over three n minus one times three n minus four over one. The result is limit n goes to infinity of three n minus four over three n minus one. Degrees are equal and it's three n over three n, which cancels to just get one. In other words, inconclusive. And the thing that's funny about this is that we're getting inconclusive here. We cannot use the ratio test. We'd have to use another test. And it's funny because this is like one of the easiest series in the world to prove. Like for instance, I can use a limit comparison test, compare it to one over n, and then I'm good to go. I'm gonna get that this diverges, which is the answer by the way, this does diverge in actuality. But the ratio test only works if I have n in the exponent or an n factorial. So now here's the last one we're gonna look at for today. It's the series from n equals two to infinity of n plus one factorial divided by two to the n. So for this one, again, a sub n is n plus one factorial divided by two to the n. It's definitely gonna work because I have factorial and n in the exponent this time. So a sub n plus one is n plus one plus one factorial divided by two n plus one, which I will rewrite to this. I could write n plus two factorial, or I could write it as n plus two times n plus one factorial. It takes a while to get used to how to write these n factorials, but in general, if I have, for instance, n plus six factorial, I would rewrite this to n plus six times n plus five factorial, and I, hopefully you're seeing the pattern here. And then in the denominator, this is two to the n times two to the first. Now I gotta divide these things. It will be the limit as n goes to infinity of numerator n plus two times n plus one factorial divided by two to the n times two to the first. And then instead of dividing by the complex fraction, I'm just gonna cut to the chase and multiply by the reciprocal, which is two to the n divided by n plus one factorial. Look what cancels here, a lot of stuff does. And then we'll have the limit as n goes to infinity of n plus two divided by two. This limit is gonna go to infinity because the numerator degree is higher. And because we're getting infinity, and because this is definitely greater than one, we just say that the series diverges by the ratio test, and there's our answer. So that's everything I have to say on the ratio test. Thank you all for watching. If you have any questions, please post them in the comments below. Have a great rest of your day, and I'll see you in the next video. Take care, and bye-bye.